Good morning and howdy everyone. I'm gonna read to you from Jeremiah again, chapter four today. <clears throat> I'm out at the bee corral and all of the posts are now in the ground and cemented in place. I'll let them let the cement set for a day or two and then I will uh, attach the boards to all of them like I've done on the front here. And these I just screwed temporarily to hold those posts while their, their cement dried. They're not spaced the way I want them spaced, so they will be moved too. And the ones on the three back sides are the same thing. They're just screwed to the post right now to keep the post in place while the cement dries. Taking them down, putting them where they're supposed to be, getting my four foot long level, making sure they're all level and straight. Won't take long, but I want the post to be the cement that the post ran to be completely dry before I start messing with them like that. Okay, Jeremiah, God's servant, delivering news from God to Israel and to Jerusalem, telling them they better straighten up their act or God is going to do pretty much the same thing to them as he did Sodom and Gomorrah. Since they didn't straighten up, we now know he didn't go quite as harsh on them as he did on Sodom and Gomorrah, but he did run them out of their land. And one of my Facebook friends has been reading Jeremiah also. And she said that it is a lot like America. As you read the condition that Israel was in back then and what God, God was warning them about. Excuse me, my head itches. Uh, sounds like America and she's right. I started paying more attention to that. And Jeremiah with God's words could have been describing America. America needs to repent and go back to God just like God through Jeremiah was warning Israel to do. Otherwise something bad may happen to America and I expect that will happen. God hates sin he hates his people worshiping idols and other things other than him. He won't tolerate it. Israel needs to wake up again, but so does America, and so does the world. The world is getting to be an evil, evil place. <clears throat> but we know from end time prophecy that that was going to happen. That's what the tribulation period and the return of Christ is all about. I look forward to his return. I am so grateful I will not be here during the tribulation period. And friends, I pray that you will not be either. Only the true Christians, Christ's bride, will be raptured out of here and we won't be put through all the torment that's going to last for seven years and really bad the last three and a half. <clears throat> I got to quit yapping here and start reading and the tripod is not standing up because I want to walk around and move a little bit. Uh, so y'all excuse the wiggling and shaking and everything. I apologize for that. Jeremiah chapter 4 
If thou wilt return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. And thou shalt swear, the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, and the nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Let, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go in to the defensed cities. Set up the standard toward Zion, retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. You know what he's talking about there, I hope. I've told you before. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer, destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy cities shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. For this, gird you with sackcloth, lament, and howl, for the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass at that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princess and the priest shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wander. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived this people, and Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reacheth unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Even a full wind from those places shall come unto me now. Also will I give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe! unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge with thee? For a voice declareth from Dan, and publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim, Make ye mention to the nations, <clears throat> Behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country and give out their voice among the cities of Judah. As keepers of a field are they against her round about, because she hath been rebellious against me, saith the Lord. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter because it reacheth unto thine heart. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. And I can relate to that, and I imagine you can too. But you know it's coming. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled, 
and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish, which means stupid, children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heaven were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord, and by his fierce anger. For thus hath the Lord said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it. I have purposed it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and the bowmen. They shall go into thickets and climb upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make myself, thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail, and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion that bewilleth her, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. Friends, may God bless you abundantly today. Y'all stay safe. Stay cuddled up close to the Lord. If you don't know the Lord, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved.